Welcome to the Rounded Square, where Iowa's gaming gets its time to shine. Let's talk hey, excuse about... excuse me, pardon me, my review. Wait, who are you? Obvious random person, not friend whom I'm invited to host a review with. I'm here to review plans for zombies. But I'm here to review plans for zombies. Why would you do that? It's not like, it's not like you have a YouTube channel dedicated to reviewing great iOS games. That'd just be stupid. You're stupid. You and your little DS. Have you got to PS1 graphics yet? PS1 didn't have stylus. No, wait a minute. Why are we arguing? We're two different gamers with two different backgrounds. Together, we could, could provide a coherent and non-biased view of this game for our viewers. There's only one logical solution. Your life plans for zombies match? I just think it goes without saying. Well, great. We wasted all our backstory time and have nothing to show. So, should we just do the review together? That kind of does make more sense, though. The first idea was obviously superior. Oh, of course. This is Plants vs. Zombies. What? At its core, Plants vs. Zombies is a tower defense game, or at least a unique take on that category. There's no long path to set turrets around that the enemies follow, there's simply a few horizontal rows that the enemies come through. It is a strategy game, but very non-traditional. You have a very nice variety of plants to place on, all with unique pros, cons, and funny descriptions in your almanac. Your enemies come in equal variations, skills, and hilarity. Both are managed expertly to create a fantastically smooth difficulty curve. The best part, however, is the sense of accomplishment you get from building up your agricultural defensives. Each player takes a tremendous sense of pride from their unique style and layout. Seen it fully realized and succeed in protecting them is incredibly rewarding, even if it is reset the very next turn. P to the face! I'm not keeping that. There to help you along in your dangerous journey of morticulture is... Dun, dun, dun! Crazy Dave. If I was ever in a zombie apocalypse, I would pick Crazy Dave to help me over anyone else. Ever. Really? Yeah. Crazy Dave over, like, anyone? Well, of course. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Eh. Like Marcus Phoenix? No. A Master Chief? No. Solid Snake? No. Anyone? Captain Price? Kratos? No. Batman? No. Chuck Norris? No. Mr. T? No. James Bond? No. Alec Baldwin? What? Jason Porn? No. Chris Redfield? Nathan no. Drake? No. Scorpion? No. Cole McGrath? No. Yoda? Django no. Fett? Link? No. Zang? No. Mike Hagar? No. Cal Warden? Who? Cal Warden. Hero of Nova? Nova 1 and 2? Best iOS branches of all time? Oh, you mean Angry Birds. My favorite aspect of Plants for Zombies is its personality. For a game about zombies breaking into your home and eating your brains, it's really upbeat and cheery. It's bright and colorful, and doesn't take itself too seriously. Even when you fail, it sounds more funny than tragic. I don't know, I, I always wanted them to handle that game over thing better. Like, you know, mix genres. Oh no, a zombie broke through my defenses! Switch modes. Headshot! Unique personality, content galore, and good old-fashioned fun. That you will find in Plants for Zombies. That you will find in the Rounded Square. Yeah, it's also for Nintendo DS. Yeah, with more game modes. It's also on PSN and Xbox Live. Oh, uh, can't forget WiiWare and Android. Oh, and PC. Uh, in fact, recently went on to uh, just playing on browser. Heck, it's even on Mac.